in the sum it is freely suspended from a corner and they want us to draw planar axis inclined 45 degree to BP and apex towards the observer. So what we will do? First we will draw a square below it of side 40. Draw square pyramid. Let's keep on one of its collar. Why because that side it is freely suspended from a corner. So we'll take collar on right hand side. Now let's say if it is freely suspended from this corner. So first we need to find out center of gravity. So that is if total height is let's say 60, so this would be h by 4, so this is center of gravity. Now join this. This is A, B, C, D, O, M. This is A dash, B dash, D dash, C dash, O dash, M dash. Now see, it is freely suspended from a corner. So let's assume that this is their corner, and when it is freely suspended, that time what will happen? The center of gravity will pass through that corner only. So we'll take A dash to CG and we'll cut here. This is A dash. We will mark CG. See this? When they are saying that it is, it is really suspended from a corner. So that corner will be the highest point and center of gravity will lie in the same line. Then we'll take A dash to C dash, we'll cut here. We'll take C G to C dash, we'll cut here. So we'll get point C dash. Then we'll take A dash to O dash, we will cut on this side. We'll take C dash to O dash and we'll cut here. So we'll get point O dash. This is B dash D dash. Now we'll project point C dash and C from here. So we can mark C, B dash, D dash from here, B and B from here. This is B, this is D, same way A dash. And from here, A, O dash from here. O, then this we will join. Now, an observer will see from the top, you can see this part. So, ABCD would be dark, mountain line would be dark, O dash, A dash is dark, so OA will be dark, but OC is dotted, so this part will be dotted. Why it won't be full dotted? Because it is overlapped by OA. Now, this is M dash. Now they want us to draw plan of axis inclined 45 degree to BP. Now what do you mean by plan of axis? Top view of axis. If you see this is original axis. Like this. But this is top view of axis. So this is top view of axis or you can say plan of axis. Right? So this is inclined at 45 degree to BP and apex towards the observer. So what we will do? We will draw 45 degree we take this distance and again we will redraw and mark point N
this is C, this is B, A, B, O. Now we'll extend C from here, okay. C dash from here, so we get point C dash. Then you extend point B from here. You extend B from here and you get B dash. Then you extend point D from here. D from here you get D dash. Then you get point A from here. A dash from here you get point. A dash. Then you get point O from here and O from here and get O dash. Now we draw X G boundary. So we join A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, C dash to O dash, and A dash to O dash. D is inside. Now when you see from here, B is nearer to observer, so all the line passing through D and A will be dark. C. So O dash to B dash will be dark. Now point D. Point D is away from observer. So D dash. This will be not it. This is D dash, D dash, C dash, O dash. You can mark point M, M dash over here. This is axis. So in this case, when we wanted plan of axis inclined, so we took this axis and we have cut directly. So this angle is B dash. 